actually uh, the one vaccine which is uh, there are three vaccines available and all of all these three they have got uh, these four strains a c w and y and uh, they are the minectra there's a mini wire and there's minex something minex dextra like this another name but the commonest is the minectra which is available almost everywhere or even menvia is also available so uh, both these vaccines they are usually available they are both conjugated uh, uh, vaccines and uh, for conjugated vaccine one thing has to know that this is safe for all the people and this usually works for three four for five years actually what Saudi government is asking is that vaccine has to be taken at least 10 days prior to coming or getting entry into the Saudi Arabia. This is mandatory. So one has to take these vaccines 10 days before. Uh, so everybody who is coming, he should have it. They are recommended actually for everybody. Nowadays, we have started, even in UK, they have started uh, this giving in the very first year. There is another type that we call polysaccharide that usually is not is fading away nowadays and uh, not available uh, very widely. Uh, that is given later on. And that has got uh, effect for around uh, three years. One thing that I would like to uh, add is that uh, whenever even the people are present inside the Saudi Arabia or outside, once they get the, their vaccination, previously it was only the cards they had. But nowadays, the Saudi government has got an application, and the name is, is known as NUSUK, N-U-S-U-K. So once anybody is present on the Android as well as on the iOS system, and one can uh, download it, uh, and they have to enter it, their status over there, or on the site of Ministry of uh, Hajj and Umrah, there is a link, and they will have to show their, uh, their, their certificate over there, and they will enter it and their status will be updated. So nobody is allowed to go further or, or register himself until unless he has shown that he has taken the vaccine.